For this video, I am working off of O2 character speed AEP inside the chapter four folder. Once you're there, what I want to do is double click on the red thunder walk cycle composition inside the project panel to go back into the animation. And what I want to do here is view this as a loop. So I'm going to bring my timeline out so I can zoom out and see all 10 seconds of the timeline. And I want to locate the work area end handle, which is right here on the end at 10 seconds. Since this animation is only one second, I'm going to click and drag and bring this all the way up to one second so I can see what this is going to look like. If I hit the space bar, we'll be able to see this loop out just like that. And it's looking pretty good. But I might want to slow this down just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is hit the space bar to stop the animation. And I want to bring up all the keyframes for this layer. So I'll click once on red thunder separated and then hit U to bring up all my keyframes. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and then hit the tilde key to bring up the timeline in full view. To change the speed of an animation or to readjust the keyframes so that everything stays equally spaced and proportioned, select all the keyframes that you want to adjust. So we're just going to come in here and highlight all these keyframes. And now I'll hold an alt and click and drag on one of the last keyframes on one second. And you can see when I do this, I'm increasing and decreasing the spacing of the keyframes, but everything remains even. So all I'm going to do is just bring this out to 106. That way we have a little bit more time to animate out. And we'll also increase our work area here so that we can view the animation in full. So now we'll hit the tilde key to come back and we're going to preview this again. It'll take a second here to render out those frames. And once you do, you can see that the walk is a little bit slower now. And that's a little bit better for what I want to do here. Of course, you can make the speed of the walk whatever you want, but a slower walk will work for our purposes here. So with the character speed now set, we can pause the video and move on to creating a loop for the scene file.